Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the Algebra 1 concept of rate of change. This is standard A.3b in the great state of Texas. We are using item number 30 of the 2024 released star test. This is a new item type called inline choice, and if you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we've got this table here that shows an altitude of a plane at a constant rate. And we have a linear relationship here between y, right, our altitude, and then x, the minutes. All right, so we just have these three rows of data. At 1.5 minutes, we have an altitude. 3.25 minutes, we have an altitude. 6 minutes, we have an altitude. And we need to describe the rate of change of altitude with respect to time. So you notice our options there are either the altitude of the plane increases or decreases, and then we just need to calculate the rate. But when we're thinking of that, hopefully we are thinking, if we were to graph this right here, okay, so let's, let's just draw real quick, kind of sloppy graph all right so we've got zero let's call this 1.5 let's call this maybe 3.25 and then maybe that's the six okay so we'll call it something like that it might not be perfectly spaced but those are our three points and then our altitude you notice we're going from we'll make that the very top 25.5 thousand down to 20.25 thousand and then I've got a 12,000 once again I'm not trying to make them proportional just trying to get our three points on the graph so we're starting at 1.5 minutes and it's the 25,500 3.25 minutes now I'm at the 20,250 and then at the six minute mark, I'm down to one to 12,000. So as you can see here, we are descending, right? Our altitude is getting lower as time moves on. So we can go ahead and mark that right here. It decreases, it's descending. Now, how much is it descending? Well, we can look at our reference materials. We realize that what we're trying to calculate is the slope of this line. How do we find the slope of the line? It's right there at the very bottom. The m equals, and then we've got the change in y over the change in x. That's what we're calculating here. So what would that look like? Well, let's make this our y sub 2, and make this our x sub 2, and then let's make this our y sub 1 and our x sub 1. doesn't really matter which pair we choose as long as the x sub 2 is matched up with y sub 2 and the x sub 1 is matched up with y sub 1. So my y sub 2 is going to be 25,500. We need to subtract from that my 12,000. And then from our x sub 2, it's going to be the 1.5 minus 6. Well, let's get our calculator out. And let's use, let's use our TI calculator for this one. Let's see if we can get that working. We've got the 25. And let's let's clear that. Let's go ahead and get our parentheses in there so we can do the whole thing all together. 25, 500, minus 12,000. Just count your zeros. Make sure you enter that correctly. Over 1.5. Minus six, and it decreases at three thousand feet per minute. Now here's the thing: we could have taken any of these numbers, and we could have made this our x sub one. We could have made this our x sub two. If we would have made this our y sub one or y sub two, it would have gotten us the exact same, no matter what you do, because it's the slope of the line. So here is our answer.